So when you started out, like you were saying, it wasn't so big, dance wasn't so big at that time. Yes. How did your families react? How did your parents react to this? It, Different. It's a, it's a mixed, uh, you know, in a typical... That was the reaction I was looking for. <laughs> no, 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 in a typical Desi yes. movie, they will have broken the window and say, study oh, medicine, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. But in our case, it wasn't like that, actually. Uh, it wasn't like brutal. Mm. It was, it was uh, more like questioning, a little bit disappointment that we're really choosing it. Right. But they were letting us do it at the same time as long as we finished, uh, you know, like going to doing our school. Yeah. Uh, you know, mom sent us to Quran. Uh, right. As long as we're doing this, it's OK. Right. But we got challenged in like when they start seeing it's getting more and more serious. Mm. Right. You know, more and more time, more and more passion into it. Mm. Our big brother, by Brad, he was very like strict on that. We have to be uh, doing big things. If you're gonna go that path, he said you need to bring so medals he, home if you're gonna do this. Yeah, so he he uh, he put us on world championship, Norwegian right. championship, European championship. Amazing. And we won all of them. Amazing. Yeah, so so then then and we were against that because we were very underground, right? Yeah. And uh, he was like, you cannot, that's not a long term for you guys to right. be there. So if you're gonna do it, you have to like go compete, go do something. So we brought all these medals home yeah. and then we won their heart, you know, yeah. and they become more. So dad don't understand, uh, they didn't understand the passion as yeah. we feel, you know? So, yeah. but when you bring the medal and put it in the uh, yeah. room, it's like... Uh, ah, something we understand. <laughs> okay, this is good. <laughs> or else it's like they came all the way from Pakistan yeah. to Norway, right? Yeah. And then, uh, when did they move to Norway? 1969. Oh, that generation. And, uh, and it's like uh, they're coming and, you know, we're the youngest in the family. Alhamdulillah, five sisters, one big brother. Alhamdulillah. So we, we are the youngest and when we started dancing, it's like... Uh, for them coming all the way here and then expect that we're gonna study and do stuff like this but actually they didn't expect that but no yeah we were twins we were free we could do whatever we want and you were the youngest yes, yes. so they were like okay yeah. do whatever, yes. do whatever yeah, yeah. They want. so that responsibility <laughs> fall on our big brother you know? exactly yeah so right he probably did the followed their dream yes right? and he's yeah. still with us yeah. and he's yeah right do your sisters dance Yes. yes. Oh, wow. I mean, you know, from this year, it's a video. I saw it on my phone newly. I got like, I haven't shown, I didn't even show to them on the plane. <laughs> I was watching, I was like, whoa. Because uh, f uh, we were preparing a dance and I was dancing with all my five sisters. And even he haven't seen it. And you know, the whole time, so can awkward. I stand? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, the whole uh, video is like my mom and uh, every children is sitting like this. All sister is around and we're dancing to a, like a old school UK Pangra music and and my whole performance is like this because I'm shy <laughs> well, yes, because they are their their confidence is above me wow. and still and, and they're like bah, and you gotta do this and I was just like oh. <laughs> you know so they they dance to yeah. me I think most of our energy we got it from them as well yeah That's especially amazing. the one we give now yeah yeah. Do you guys love it? I mean, you're traveling now, you're connecting. It's like you're connecting the dots across the world. Yeah. And people recognize you now. Surprisingly, um, yes. It's crazy how, we, how much they When did that now. start happening? I think. I, <coughs> I, I mean. Mr. Habibi. <coughs> yeah, recently, right? Yeah, it just happened. Like, um, so we started to travel more together this year mm. uh, around the summertime. And it's just weird because it all happened just like so fast so you know there's one thing to see that what we've done on the social medias and youtube you know yeah. there's a lot of likes comments and views right yeah and i think there's a you don't uh, realize how many people that is yeah. when you get several it's million true. views yeah. on different platforms and your videos but when you go outside of the world and let's uh, let's say that um the viewers are in pakistan right mm. and we were in norway and most of our fans is in Pakistan. Yeah. And like we're pretty normal in Norway. No one like cares. It's not a, like big wow because there's not a lot of people. So right. like it's common to uh, see us in the city. Right. Or where yeah. we go. So as soon as we step out of Norway in Pakistan, we get more. It's more ex exclusive to be from yeah. abroad, right? Yeah. yeah. So when we come here, uh, it's just shocking to see that everyone knows us mm -hmm. just by seeing seeing us from videos yeah and yeah we don't just we don't realize how many people that is mm. Mm. yeah so yeah. It's, it's crazy but also it's a good feeling because 
we know that we know that we're we've done something right yeah and uh, people smile and they appreciate what we do and that's why we do mm. what we do yeah, mm. yeah. good it, it feels good right yeah, it, it feels good. It does. Yeah, it, it, it feels good because on top of that we have done it for so many years mm. so you know before things got out of hands out of like viral mm. We were still practicing dance. We were still doing our same thing as we do today. Nothing mm. has changed. Right, it's right. just like we used to travel a lot, but it was within the dance bubble, dance mm. world. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they knew who we are. Mm. Um, and so that's what I feel like. That's why uh, I remember Yasin posted the first video on his channel and we just saw it just do, 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 reaching out. He's like, guys. <laughs> It's growing, yeah. you know, and everything uh -huh. since then is just like posting out and it just like people loved it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So, do you guys think that stardom comes with the pressure? Because when you're not known and nobody recognizes you, you're making and performing from the heart, what you yeah. want to do. But when stardom happens and you become larger than life, then the brands come in yeah. and then you have to perform accordingly. Does that ever feel restrictive? I think. Uh, good for, question, super yeah. good question. It's a really good question. For us, we've been, like Bilal said, we've been doing this professionally for so many years. Yeah. And there have been so many chances for us to go viral, to be honest, like yeah. of the things that we've done before. Mm. But this happened to be the best way because it was a wedding, it was genuine, it was all of our friends connected, and it yeah. was for a very uh, honest purpose, right? And now we feel like if that is something that the people want, we know exact. we can pinpoint exactly what it was because we've done it for so long. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for us to replicate that with the heart mm. is not a hard thing, you know? So yeah. Yeah. so not saying that we're we're um, <coughs> manufacturing that feeling. Yeah. It's just that we know exactly, oh, so that is what people like. And this is actually something we love to do as well. Yeah, you've got you the know? finger on the pulse. We got yes. exactly. Yeah. So yeah. we understand what to do. Yeah, yeah. And when it comes to brands, uh, I think we all are very aligned. Uh, that we don't step into things that doesn't suit us. Yeah. No matter how much money it is or whatever it is, it is very good to collaborate with brands for us. Because yeah. as Hina Siri said, we've done it for a long time. Yeah. It's small brands, big brands. We work with IKEA. IKEA and dance, does mm. it have any uh, connection? No. no, we did it because we think it's fun and it's cool. So that's why it's cool to work with a brand like Coke Studio. Coke Studio is super they cool, They understand right? us, yeah, you know, absolutely. like uh, Zishan and Zufi, they see right through who we absolutely. are and they adjust, we adjust. And this is like the perfect world of showing people collaborations. Yes. Yeah. You know? I think someone from YouTube said yesterday that clients should not take like selling products for yeah. how to use it. How to use, how to it, use it, yeah. yeah. You guys met Vaha Bukti? Yes. And, uh, yes. That's the story I want to hear. Yeah. Oh, wow. 